Okay, today I thought we'd play and look at uh, RoboCub and RoboScout. They were sold by Shopper Image in 2000, 2001, and 2002. And we'll start with the small one, which is the RoboScout. And basically here was the uh, advert for it. You can see it was uh, basically 40 bucks. And what we're talking about on the box, I don't think there's anything of uh, spectacular info on here. It comes with a big sticker sheet so you can apply all kinds of uh, stickers to it should you want to. back of the box, get it far enough back where the whole thing's in picture. There we go. And the top of the box. The robot itself takes uh, six AA batteries, which go back here. Here's the on-off switch. Only writing back there is uh, that. Um, so we can turn that on. When it's on, the eyes will glow green. The remote takes one 9 volt battery and you have a forward, reverse, left and right, or right and left, depending on how your camera's looking at it, and a talk button. Oh, look you again. What you doing? Hey there. So these rotate. I guess it's still in camera. I'll go ahead and move that box a little. And let's come back this way. And so there you have it. That's... Yo, dude! Yo! I'm a little robot. Da, 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 da. Hello, hello, hello. So that's basically what you get. You have uh, arms that you can pose and posable grippers. And that was the RoboCub. Now, of course, the big... The big one, which we're going to aim the camera at next as soon as I uh, find the page. This was a 2002 catalog. That was the last year that they sold the Robo Scout. Here's the, the whole page is what we're talking about. It was basically a $700 robot and then there was a $100 option for a PC card and some software that you could put into it. Um, I guess you might want to read some of these features, although I think I have another card that maybe outlines these features better. But the long and the short of it is, is besides uh, being a remote control, it has a camera built into the robot. I'm going to show you the remote first. Here's the fancy ass remote. Now both the robot and the remote have built-in rechargeable batteries. And of course the problem with that is, is they, they basically did one run of these robots probably in 1999 because they sold them in 2000. So that means the batteries are all 22 to 23 years old. No longer work. So you'd have to replace the batteries if you wanted to play with this thing. But you do have an LCD screen here. The robot does have a camera on it, so you can see whatever the robot can see. The robot also has a microphone, so you can hear whatever the robot can hear. You can also talk through this through the robot and send a message. Uh, you can raise and lower the robot's arms. You can open and close its grippers. You, of course, can drive it in any direction and make it talk and do all kinds of crazy stuff. But just to give you a rough idea, there's an insane amount of controls. on here. So the robot itself, let's get it in picture, in frame, it's down here, it's quite large. Uh, I could lower the camera but that's kind of a pain. I think before I do that, let's look at a few more pieces of uh, paperwork that come with it. Here's a uh, 
kind of a startup page. When the robot shipped to you, it shipped, its whole body can, can tip, rotate forward, backward. In fact, it can rotate all the way under. So when it ships, it actually ships upside down. This will be tucked down between its feet. So when you first get it, you have to initialize it to, uh, to get it into the upright mode. On this side of the sheet is basically all on the remote. And of course it comes with a booklet. Thank goodness it isn't great big, uh, thick. It uh, pretty much just covers the same things we talked about. Now I didn't want to, you know, the, the purpose of my museum, the Robot Hut, was to keep examples of robot toys around for people to see in generations to come. It wasn't to keep robot toys working forever. So I know that there was absolutely no chance that the rechargeable batteries in the robot or in the remote control after 22 to 23 years are gonna work. I mean, it's, it's a, a gel cell that's not supposed to leak, which is basically a lead acid battery with a gel. And of course it doesn't. And sure, you could open up the robot. It's a, about a two hour job. You have a hatch on the back, you take off, then you have to take off the back of the robot. Then you have to take off the whole control PC board, which is insane when you see it. And then you can get to the battery. And then of course you get to buy the battery and put the battery in. And unless you're playing with it all the time, you've just bought a battery that's simply gonna go bad and you've thrown your money away. So I'm keeping these mid examples. Basically the only time this robot has ever been out of the box and run was when I took it out of the box and ran it to get it in the upright position to put it on display. Other than that, it hasn't been played with. I'll give you an example of the box. It's, uh, it's big. I'll stand next to it to give you a rough idea. Get the, uh, and of course, because it's winter and I'm cold, I'm all, all bundled up in all my heavy duty clothing. So you can see this is a, a big box. And if you want to see what the box looks like, this is the size of it. There are two different chargers for it. You have uh, this charger with the triple end jack. This goes into the robot to charge it up. And there is a charger for the remote control. The remote control you can actually run even with a dead battery. The remote control can be run um, from the charger. Of course, the instruction book. But it doesn't do you much good unless the robot is working. They have the remote control on. So. About the best I can do, I'm going to pull this back even further, is to just move this thing around so you can kind of see what we're talking about here. Here's a side view. These arms are motorized. They can lift up and these grippers on the sides of them. These can open and close, they're motorized. This whole egg body rotates down and up. Now basically that helps aim that camera in the head so you can look down and look up. The head itself you can also rotate so you can make the camera look left and right or you could just drive the robot left and right. You have several different sensors. It has an infrared sensor and it has a per motion sensor here for detecting people when you have it uh, like used, uh, you know, as an intruder type thing. This is the back side. This is the side that you need to get into if you're going to replace the battery. Once you take this, here's the charging port and there's a charging LEDs. Once you take this off, you can unplug it. And then there's some screws where you can get this whole back part of the body off. Then once that's out, you've got to take that main PC board, which is huge, out and then the battery pack is uh, down below. Up here on the top, I think I'll move the camera for that so you can see that a little bit easier. These are the uh, main control robots. I mean, main control switches for the robot, your main power. If you've 
recorded messages. You can leave messages on there, turn the lights on and off. It has a demo button where it'll go through a whole demo show, and I believe on YouTube, if I find it, I'll put a link down below. I've watched it before. There is a video that was actually put out by Sharper Image showing the demo mode. So maybe that would be the way to uh, the way to cover this little guy or this huge guy in better detail. But it just uh, isn't worth the time and money for me to stick a battery in there to do a couple of minute video showing it move. That's not the object of being out here in the robot hatch, just to keep the best examples that I could find or could afford of toys for future generations to enjoy. And as you can see the little uh, RoboCub, let me hold it down there next to it so you can see the difference in size. i got to turn up the screen so I can see what I'm doing. You can see little bitty. But this is actually a fairly normal sized robot toy. So RoboCub is just that, cub sized.